Stated on February 9th, 2024, the notice of this meeting of the Upper Township Committee was posted on the official Township Bolton Board, the Upper Township website, emailed to the Atlantic City Press, the Ocean City Sentinel Ledger, the Herald Times, and filed with the Township Clerk. Tonight's meeting is being video recorded up until the close session portion of this meeting and will be available on the Upper Township website. I hereby direct that this announcement be made parts of the minutes of this meeting. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and start with the um, uh, budget workshop, and um, I guess we'll turn it over to um, Gary to, to uh, what's that? Oh, oh yeah, let's do a roll call. I'm sorry, could you do a roll call? Mr. Corson? Present. Mr. Bates? Present. Mr. Happen? Here. 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 Yeah, here. Yeah, here. Yeah. All right, Gary. That's right. That's right. We should Again, near and dear to my heart is the is the nuts and bolts of the municipality. The municipality runs on money. The municipality runs on budget. The municipality runs on fixed budgets. Uh, so, uh, through all the uh, conversations that we had, through, through the involvement of this committee, uh, it, you know, I was honored and I'm always impressed as to the level of interest and to the uh, cooperation and to the uh, to the uh, overall. The overall end result of what the budget is. And so Marm and I start high uh, and we start uh, through this particular scenario that we use, right? So we're all searching for stability and to get to the stability and to get to that success of that stability, it's involvement. And the involvement is of all the committee. The involvement is of our CFMO, our involvement is our auditor, uh, our department heads, and the employees. Uh, the management of that is through myself and through the middle management and through the upper management of getting it to you, to your vision, to what's acceptable as far as public safety, as far as what growth is, community involvement, community uh, uh, projects. And then, of course, the advice. Uh, one thing that this committee, again, it does very well is listen to the advice of its experts. And you all have the ability to uh, digest it. You ask very poignant questions. Uh, the, the meetings are sometimes um, in, in great depth. And, but at the end of the day, the result is success. Again, cooperation, consolidation, collaboration is what we strive for, and that's with uh, keeping, once the departments set their budgets, we keep them within their budgets. The employee partnerships, again, this year, we were able to get 99%, Barbara, was that around 98% of everyone to go to the uh, more advantageous um, health plan, uh, health care grew again, the, the choice of, a, of the health insurance was it, plan. It, was a, it wasn't a double-digit growth, but what was it again? Seven, seven percent. On top of last year's double-digit growth. And uh, through, the, through the, uh, um, the creation of the Martian Planning Group and the Consolidation Group, we were able to um, get buy-in from the employees. And so with that, with that buy-in, we also share it in, the, in those successes. Shared service agreements. We have shared service agreements now with Ocean City, uh, Corbin City, uh, and those continue to grow. We have and our court system. So we have uh, numerous um, shared service agreements. The hiring practices. We are uh, reducing starting pay, increasing steps, uh, compensating uh, for longevity, or for for retention, and for uh, um, recruitment. And again, the double duty is, is that we ask a tremendous amount of, um, uh, of uh, different tasks from our employers and our employees. So this is it, right? So the budget is increasing around 300 grand or, or 1.4 cents. So again, not to get into the nuts and bolts of the actual true, true numbers, and Barbara likes to hold me through true numbers, so I threw my little caveats up there. Five or more, let it soar, four or less, let it rest. It's about 288,000, is that what it is? 289 is the 
Aboriginal. No, to a, our budget increase. Oh. 288. No, it, it's, it, it's just under 300. So I rounded it up. 299. And it's 1.42 cents or 1.4. 1.4 to 1.4 cents. Where is that going? It's going to pay your debt service debt. So one of the things that we did and one of the things that you have been doing is staying on the auditor's plan, paying down your debt service, of keeping um, keeping the, the eye on the capital project bonds. And so you're bonding for projects, you're bonding for, for roads and community projects and infrastructure projects, and you're paying down the, the debt services. And so Barbara can, can, can back me up here on the the necessity and the and the, the value of doing that is because one um, we get to borrow. Well, it keeps it keeps everything stable. Think about it at, in your at your home budget. You know, if you all of a sudden went out and had to replace appliances and buy a new car and and fix your roof and do all those things all at once, it's a little more costly than if you spread those spread those expenses out. So that's really what we try to do here as well. Just Keep a keep a record of our capital needs and spread that out. And so, one of the things I look at is is, is why some of the de detriments happen. Why did you get into some of the problems that you have? And it's not just your municipality. So everybody wants a zero zero zero, but at the end of the day, everything increases. And so it's just like your home budget, right? So if you're going to not if you're not going to reduce your services and you're not going to reduce your boy base and you're not gonna take in more revenue, well, something's gonna have a deficiency at the very end. And so eventually, you're gonna catch up to what Barbara just said. Everything is broke, everything needs fixing. It's like that Bob Dylan said, the, uh, the, everything is broken. So uh, everything, and you have to pay for it. And so what you should have been doing on your capital and paying debt services, employee obligations, now all of a sudden, you're looking at a 10 cent increase and a, and a 15 cent increase, because you didn't have your increases each year to keep up with government. You're doing a balancing act, and this budget shows that you're doing a balancing act. Well, last year we were almost double it, and, and going into this year, our um, mission was to cut it in half but continue to keep stability, and that's what this budget did. So you, we kept the employee obligations, and we kept down debt services. Again, I want to remember that 70% of your operating budget is employee-based. So penny is $190,000. There's the actual number, it's 1.42 uh, cents. An average home is about $300,000. And for the, for the year in total, for upper only, that's the increase. So each household has got a $42 increase. That's an average. Average. If you're well, on the three hundred thousand, on the three hundred thousand dollar home, yes, yes, yeah, and you're a gym teacher, right? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good. So, uh, so yes, so you're exactly correct, uh, Chair. The uh, the increase would be double that for a six hundred thousand house, and incrementally going up the scale. But the average is three it, on a three hundred thousand dollar home is what we use is the uh, three dollars. So then, uh, through through the uh, through the budget workshops that we had with Leon and everybody had attended, I pulled out some pretty good, uh, just some good rationalization and good insight into the totality of our budget. And so the city of, of the excuse me, the township of Upper receives around 13 percent of the 41 million that we collect. Right? So Upper Township is basically a collection agency. We collect $41 million in tax revenues through the various uh, uh, school taxes and open space taxes, county taxes, and Upper Township receives only $5 million of that particular amount. And that's about 13% for those who like percentages. Another way of putting it is for every $1,000 in total taxes paid, Upper Township gets about twenty. School is 71% of that 41 million. County is 16% of that 41 million. And we are 13% of that 41 million. For those who like
to pr play the percentage games. I always like this one here. I call it fuzzy math, right? Would you rather have 10% of a dollar or 10% of a million bucks? Well, still 10%, right? So think wisely on which one you want. And you can see here I use uh, 100 to 101 amount change is 1%, and then I use from 6 to 7 amount change was only 1, but that's a 16% play the game all you want relative to percentage. So this budget has what we need to operate the municipality for the year. We'll stick within that budget. This budget also is going to include uh, a, another capital bond. And then once we're done with that capital bond, we'll have that as, at a different presentation. We'll probably go out for, for finance. This budget also includes items that will not be repeating themselves next year. So this is a cleanup uh, budget. So we have um, um, several items in there that will not be recurring, including debt service of next year. Right? So next year you're going to take a break because we're going to package all those bonds up and we're going to go for long-term finance. And there's other issues in here that we cleaned up that needed to be paid that will not be recurring next year. Let, let me just clarify. We still will have to pay debt service next year. We won't be paying temporary debt service, we'll be paying permanent debt service. She actually always corrects me. She, she takes my phone every time. But uh, trust and verify, right? So you want to trust and verify. And that's what, between myself, um, Barbara, and Leon, all three of us continually go back over the numbers. And um, that's, that's, that's where you're at this year. So, um, well, I'd like to say a couple things first before we, if anybody, obviously, anybody else has to say. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, I, I just uh, have uh, in, actually enjoyed this portion of it um, better than, and I think Curtis can relate this, years ago on our previous life attention. Many of you just be handed this budget and we go over it at this meeting line by line, which which we should and we do. We have this, we've had this booklet for quite some time. However, what we have started in the past two or three years or whatever it was is going over and each of us sitting down with the CFO, the auditor, and business administration. We have to go separately if we don't want to violate any sunshine rules, which we did uh, some the earlier part of this month or Last night, mm -hmm. yeah, it's phenomenal to thank everybody for doing it. Yeah. It takes time out of your debt. Sure. It's above and beyond. And it and it and it getting one of the things that came out of one of the meetings that were there, and I happened to be sitting I sat in with Mark on, on with his meeting. I think Kim and uh, Curtis did it and then uh, Vic was a, 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 a solo show. One of the things committee Ben Pancos came up with is that's just why we have professionals. Because Leon was extremely professional, explained everything. He could go through things right there, change it if you wanted to see how it worked. That that is really, really kind of amazing. And his guidance over this has been been pretty good, as well as Barbara Bar and Gary's over the years. And I think the key key word up there we're talking about is stability. We want it stable. We don't want to be a roller coaster of you know I gotta have a zero. Well, a zero don't work. Two years down the road, when you're, when you're trying, to, trying to play and catch up, you know the things you got to do. Just as you explained, you know we got to buy trash truck, pave roads, do what you do what we have to do to to, to keep it going. So and that's all I want to say. I mean, it was. I think it, like Kim and I sat down. It was very productive. The proposed budget has everything everybody wants in there. Every department right now is in there. We Kim and I sat down. It started at two point eight percent. Or 2.8 cents. We got it. We got it in half, and it didn't affect what everybody wanted. Could we get it this year? Yeah, we could get this this year. But where's that going to put us next year? We're going to chase our chance. We're going to be putting in a hole again. Right. I mean, it's not good business. So I mean, when they, when everything like insurance goes up seven percent, everything goes up. Fuel went up. Every. I mean, I I can't think of anything that didn't go up in the last year. So to raise our budget. Three hundred thousand dollars. On a, what's our spend? Fourteen million, fifteen million. We're sixteen or seventeen million. 
16 or 17 million. 16 or 17 million. To go up 300,000 on a 16 million dollar budget? That's today's economy. Today's economy. Yeah. And still be able to accomplish goals. That's, that's the important thing. We've accomplished a lot of goals. I mean, we, we, we truly have. And I think it's a, a testament to our employees and Barbara and, and Gary, the work they put in, and our professionals. I mean, I think it's a, it's a solid budget. I mean, I'm sure there's going to be some questions, and I'm sure that's a 5.64 curve this year for those who want to play the, the percentage game. So sorry on the 11 percent, Mr. Sal. I, I know. <laughs> He'll have to, a story we we're saving you some. We're saving you some ink, though. I mean, the number is small <laughs> this year, so we're actually. But, it's a, it, but it's a low. Our, our municipal budget, what we raise with taxes, is relatively low. I mean, what was our rate with taxes? For, for five million. Five million. Five, yeah. Like five, mean, five point, five point. Really, one of the municipalities here operate on the five million dollar rate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that's what I was going to say. When you, when you talk to Leon, he has the expertise of looking at all other municipalities we're not operating in a vacuum, so you see what some other townships are up against, and compared to them, we're doing very well. I mean, we were frugal last year. We, you know, we had we, our surplus grew. Yes. We've used some of our surplus to bring our budget down. I mean, but not too much of it, and this one causes a problem. Yeah, you know? correct. Yeah, so I mean, it's percentage wise, it's got to be. Because the interest rates were high, we make good income on our money. But we all know, it, if, if you look at long term sewer CDs, for example, three months CD, they'll give you four and a half, five percent. Six months CD, they're going to give you less. Your CD are going to give you 3.3 percent or 3.5 percent. So the banking industry is even forecasting interest rates going down. And I think that goes. I mean, the Feds are telling us it is, but I mean, you know, I don't want to trust them. And, but that, I, and that goes back to what you were saying uh, relative to capitalize on surplus this year because you have a great. We, we've increased because of our interest rates, and we were able to grow substantially our surplus because of those. But it's, it's what you said, Kurt, is you don't want to exhaust your surplus because next year those rates might not be there. And then how do you make up for that difference? Now you're chasing yourself. Again. We can't exhaust our surplus. Correct. And we need that for, for bonding power. We need that for offsets. So uh, going back to what uh, Chair Vic said, um, it, Leon is impressive because he gets to change those numbers in real time. And so if you want a three cent tax hike, here's what it looks like. You want zero cent, this is what it looks like. This goes down, that goes up, this goes down. So, you know, having that Leon, who is just a master at the um, uh, advice, at the numbers, is super, super helpful. You know, and, and Leon is great. He's a, he's a great part of that, that puzzle, that team, right, that we always talk about. But, you know, don't sell yourself short either. You have you know, yourself and Barbara that are also part of that team that, <laughs> that you know also have have worked tirelessly to get this done. I, I thank both of you guys for that. You know, ultimately, I think we all agree up here that the responsibility we owe to the taxpayers, and, and something that we we've done, I think, in the past two years, uh, are getting the right people in the right areas. And it's, yeah. it's something to be said for our department heads too, because every department head put their proposed budget together. And they were very cognizant of it, and they were watchful and alert on their spending, and I don't think we had wishful departments. No, not at all. I think they're really good at anticipating needs, too, right? So they're looking, when they're looking at their budget in October, they have to anticipate what they're going to need next October, right? So when they're looking at it across the board, they're putting together numbers that they think are feasible to meet the needs of the department, the needs of the township, and I think they do a really nice job at that, so I'm really appreciative. They did a pretty good job this year. So yeah. Well, I get that, you know, Deputy Mayor, you make a good point because it is real time, right? So we're looking at things real time, and they are able to make those uh, recommendations. And it's the involvement of the board, and I don't want to give the compliments back and forth, but Mark, it, it's, it's what you and the mayor said. It's understanding your responsibility to explain what you're doing and having a deep understanding of how the budget works and being able to set that vision realistically. Um, you know, some of the things, some of the mistakes that you're correcting from the past ills are visions that were not funded properly. 
Not our pastels. <laughs> not, no, no, you're right. But not, well, you know, you're going, to hear, gonna you're going to hear the engineering report tonight, and some of those projects were pushed to the finish line because the, the because the vision was set properly, it was funded properly, and then managed properly relative to get it. So, uh, it's, I mean, we just finished up a project in recreation. The, the, yeah. the lighting, the lighting's have been on the agenda for ten years. Kicked down the road, bonded numerous times. Never pulled the trigger on. You know, obviously, the, in 10 years, the cost escalated. Well, yeah. and truthfully, so that was going to be my governing body report tonight, that they're, they're running. They're up and running. They look fantastic. Um, and because of the technology involved in them, we're going to be able to decrease cost with them. I mean, we're going to be able to operate those lights at about 25% of what we've been paying for decades. Maybe it's a good thing they weren't done ten years ago. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, you, never know. you can always make lemonade out of lemonade. But it's yeah. You know, I mean, it's, we've gotten a lot of projects done, and I think this committee has done it a stellar job. And I, I just think it's it's a good sound budget as it's given. I I would like to add too about the departments. Um, you said the departments put their budgets together, and. They don't necessarily. They put it together. They have to kind of look in the crystal ball and see what what they what might might come up. Um, and sometimes, you know, we have shortfalls. But a lot of times, the departments don't spend all of their budget, which that eventually goes into surplus. So the departments put their budgets together, but if the expenses aren't needed, it's not spent. They still manage it well. Lose mm -hmm. budget. And snow and public works is right. a perfect example. Yeah. Yeah. We budget for salt every year. Well, if we don't have a snowstorm, we don't use salt. So that money rolls over, but not on wood. Right. Yeah, <laughs> not on wood. I've seen this. In, I've seen this in prior years where we got tanked with snow, mm -hmm. and we, we're, we're scrambling to buy salt. Right. I mean, it's just it happens. Mm -hmm. You're asking the tough questions, and it's it's refreshing because you don't stop asking until you get the answer. And it may not be what you hear, but then you have all the information in front of you, then you can start to retool the ask and the vision. And it's just, it just worked. This year was just a successful year relative to budget processes, workshops, and sit down. I don't want to put the, you know, Chair Vic on the spot, but he is the new guy, right? So he, got, he comes in as the watchdog, or he comes in as the guy that's really going to open up the books to find out if the administrator went to the casino with the bad money. We're all watchdogs. <laughs> right? Yep. But, you know, from what he, you know, the questions that he asked in the meetings and, um, you know, his, his support of the budget, I think that, that speaks, uh, I think that speaks to volumes as well. I'm hoping that he won't, you know, he's not going to land base. <laughs> he did call me, he did call me Jimmy Joe about <laughs> <laughs> Not now. <laughs> I mean, could we get this to a zero? Yeah, we could get this to a zero, but we're going to hurt next year. And we're going to cut goods and services. Yeah, and, and debt service. And debt service. Yeah, yeah. you can cut it now. And you're going to pay next year. We're waiting. Yeah. Yeah. So any questions, or do you want me to pull? I mean, Liam's not here tonight, but we can definitely have, uh, you know, do we, do we want to do that? Public? Yeah, we'll workshop. We can do whatever we want. Yeah, well, I guess we'll, yeah. All right, I will open it up to the public if the public has any questions. About any specifics, uh, we'd be happy to answer them if you can. Um, so that that you know specifics. When I say it, it's going to be a generalization of specifics <laughs> because we can't dive down into everything because we you know we're not obviously not sure. We do have a budget budget form here. Come on up, Barbara. Yeah. You got to be on the record. Yes. By any stretch of the imagination, Barbara Leary Seville. Um, so, looking at the slides, Gary, it said that um, so the the taxes that Upper Township collects collects for Upper Township is five million, correct? Okay, and seventy percent. We of collect that, forty-one million. Yes, but the total it goes you can use for Upper Township. Yeah, it's a five million. Five million. Yes. So seventy percent of that is employee-based obligation. Pretty much. Is yeah. that a normal amount? Is that a is that unusually high? Is that average? I'm not, I don't That's know. It's average. It's an average? Okay. Yeah. Just so 30% of my time, 30% of the money. We were able to do um, through this process is sort of look at how we're performing compared to similar municipalities in the area. Um, even if you remove you know, the cost of a police force, which we don't have, we're still well below most of the other budgets. 
Well, you know, I don't, I'm not, no, I know. These are just like me looking and just, you know, okay, basic kind of questions. And so, employee obligation that's health benefits, salaries. Is that caught also? Pensions. 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 GIF. Legal fees as well? Legal like fees. If like no. if, if yeah, I mean, that you, can, you can kind of morph it into special uh, litigation if I got a, a bigger case or that type of stuff. Our, our last two years, our legal fees have all been cut to hell. Yeah, okay. which is, we had some employee issues out there that we got cleaned up and we, we actually, that's one of our ultimate savings in this budget was our line item for legal services got cut. So were there any cuts to the budget at all in any areas at all? Legal services. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect, I set you right up. Anything, I mean, so, anything else that... So can I ask, a, answer your question with a question? Sure, I don't think do, do you know you. you know of anything that has gone down in price? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> so let me know. Yeah, I'm just trying to know. Yes. Uh -huh. The short answer is I've been through this. There was a couple departments that actually, because we reduced workforce in some departments and repurposed people's jobs and shuffled people, there is a couple departments that actually went down. Okay. And, and uh, last year you were, like, consolidating and doing part-time. I think that's uh, just the, curious. The, the shared services agreement have come into play there with a lot of that as well. The, Courts, I believe, went down in salary and wages. That was one. Um, yeah, because we got a new employee. The tax collector's office or tax assessor's office went down. Okay. Right. That's it. I find that interesting. I just, the number that jumped out to me is like obviously the, the, the local purpose tax, the municipal tax, that's what you have control over, and that's the $5 million. And that's 70%. I don't know. That, that's what I wanted to know whether or not, like, so that, of that $5 million, 70% is going to employees. So, no, I you can never get sued by a trash truck. That's, like a normal, that's an average, typical. You can never well, get sued by a trash truck. And, you know, it's, <laughs> it, a lot of this stuff, I mean, insurance costs, I mean, we, we're very lucky our employees work with us. We, we went up 7% on our health insurance this year. Yeah, that's, they, they, somewhere else that only went up 7%. That's all. Okay. Yeah. I'm really not that I'm a numbers person. So, I mean, I look at this with really basic eyes. I'm sure other people that, you know, the numbers are those thing are going to look at it, Gary, and like you said, there's fuzzy math or whatever. I just looked at it just based upon your slides, and um, that was basically the question I just had. And that, that, that's why what, what we said in the beginning was, we let professionals do that. The oh, number guy or not, a feeling guy out there that feels it in the, in the workforce and as a homeowner or a resident, that, that I do, I know. You know you're paying. You know, I went to the grocery store. I paid 70 bucks for three things. I'm like, what is going on here? I'll give, I'll give you another industry standard. Uh, for every dollar you pay in salary, you're probably paying a dollar to keep that employee on a civil service side, and it's a dollar twenty-five to a dollar fifty on a police and fire side. So if you're paying a, a police officer, uh, you know, a hundred grand a year, you're really paying him two twenty-five to keep him. I mean, it's, a, it's the cost of employees. You have every. FIC tax, and you have every city. The taxes, the workers' comp, the insurance, the pension, there's a lot of costs involved. Yeah, I, I, I mean, we, having employees at one point in my life, you understand, you know, the cost. It's, um, yeah. I appreciate that. So I just, so in 2023, it was 11, or the local municipal tax went up 11.07%, and then, sorry about that. And this is 5.64. 5, 5.64. Okay. It's much better than 14.98. Well, uh, but, but, but the 14.98 was only 600,000. I mean, it was because when our number was so low to start with. Right. Well, that, I, but I also appreciate what um, Mr. Knappen said, too. The, uh, is there a house assessed in the Upper Township for 300,000 at this point? I mean, is that the average? Tax assessment. Tax assessment. Tax assessment. Okay, that's right. Okay. And that's the average tax assessment. Tax assessment. Okay. That's why they pick three, because we just get sort of multiply it up and sort of Now, the average cost of a home in Upper Township, I just saw one that was sold, it was on the market for three days, and it sold for 435 or something like that. I mean, it's, it's insane. Well, it's, it's good for us. Yeah, it's <laughs> good for us. I mean, I mean it, I'm sure it was assessed below 200. Once the, once the budget is completely uh, uh, approved, there is a chart in the actual municipal budget that will show you what the uh, assessments are for house. Okay. The budget-friendly thing that you posted earlier? Right. That's all I really have. Just, um... at, at our next meeting, we're going to introduce our budget. 
This tonight or no, no next, next week. Next week. And or two weeks. The 26th. The 26th. And then we will have it available for the public to, to review, and we're going to have the public hearing and final adoption okay. probably a month later. Mm -hmm. That's all you could ask for. Community input. Appreciate it. Thank you. All right. Thank, thank you, you Bob. Anybody else from the public? <laughs> <laughs> Chris? Chris, Bill. <laughs> Bill. Rhonda. Rhonda. <laughs> All right, uh, unless anybody else has any other comments, I think we'll go ahead and uh, close this portion of the meeting. We'll, we'll um, uh, go from, uh, uh, we'll take a little break, obviously, until the start of the 6.30 meeting. Can I have a motion to adjourn, please? Motion to adjourn. Uh, would you call the roll, please? Mr. Horson? Yes. Please? Yes. 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 yes.